So what can you tease about the upcoming season? What was your favorite scene to shoot? What was my favorite scene to shoot? Um, I, you, you'll see me, there was a scene in, where I wore nothing but an apron with my hand up a, an uncooked turkey. Um, I'd say that's the most fun I've had ever. <laughs> what kinds of other stuff is Eli going to be getting into? I mean, he's just a very interesting cat. Let me getting into other than turkeys, yeah, uh, yeah well, chickens. Uh, no, um, uh, you know, just uh, you know, I, I think you're gonna kind of see a lot more of the uh, kind of sweeter side of Eli, and um, you know, on top of all the perversion and everything like that, um, he's a really nice guy who, who likes to help his friends. I hear there's going to be some uh, awesome guest stars in the in this season, especially the premiere. So does Eli get to interact with any of them? Um, they're around, yeah. We, I mean, uh, we had Ben Lawson, who's really great. Um, uh, he gets to see a little bit of Eli, um, uh, and you know, Mark Paul Gossler, and who I'm I'm a longtime Saved by the Bell fan, so that was exciting to have him there too. So definitely. Were you able to get any dirt from, from Saved by the Bell, talk to him about Saved by the Bell at all while he was on set? No, the dirt stayed buried. Um, but I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll see him around somewhere and I'll corner him and make him, make him tell me all the dirty secrets. Do you have, can you tell me like your worst roommate story ever? Oh boy. Um, my worst roommate story. I mean... I'm gonna get in trouble. No, I don't. Know. Uh, you like trouble. <laughs> I mean, I had a not not a particular story, but I had a um, I had a roommate who had was so unclean that their entire bedroom was literally you couldn't see the floor because of um, food and clothes and empty gar like garbage empty fast food stuff like that and um you would like open the door and it would like waft out and stuff like that and um look he's a really nice guy is he an actor uh, uh no yes you know yeah. <laughs> how how long did you have to live with him for how long were you stuck in that filth you know i lived with him once and then uh, we moved away and then we lived together again why would you do that? Necessity. It was, uh, you know, it was, it was, a, uh, uh, it was a sort of, uh, you know, you know, when you need roommates to like make sure you can pay your rent and stuff like that. Yeah. Also, he's a great friend, and if he's watching this, uh, I love you, and you're a great friend. <laughs> um, if you could pick anyone in the industry to be your roommate for, let's say, a week, who would it be? To be my roommate for a week. In all of the entertainment industry? Yeah. Oh my God, does music, musicians count? Yep. All right, I would choose, um, I think, uh, I feel like Conan O'Brien would be a fun roommate, don't you think? Yeah. He likes totally. to joke around. Yeah. I feel like when I live with somebody, it's, you have to have a good joking around dynamic, you know what I mean, so that you can survive each other. He seems like a, a fun guy to riff with. Do you think Conan keeps, keeps a clean house? I, I, I have to imagine so. I have to imagine so. He, he keeps a clean he keeps a clean here and a clean here. So it must be clean there, but who knows? I, it could be a nightmare.